Hey everyone, YouTube is rolling out one of the biggest updates it's ever had on the YouTube app and it's called YouTube Shorts. Now what YouTube Shorts are, they're short 60 seconds or less videos that are in vertical format. It's almost an entirely different experience on the YouTube app. So as you go through your newsfeed here, here's a YouTube Shorts section so you should see stories and shorts. Now stories are a different thing. They're also vertical 15 seconds up to 15 second videos and I'll make my next video showing you how to use YouTube Stories. Totally different than YouTube Shorts but they are going to show up in the same section. And as you could see them, they're kind of in vertical format. The subscribe icon is in a different place. You see the likes and dislikes and share and comments in a different place and you just scroll up to see more and more YouTube Shorts. So they are laid out in a different format than what you're used to with the regular YouTube app. But in this video, I wanted to show you how to actually create and upload your own YouTube Shorts. And if you're watching this early enough, you could actually use this to go really viral on YouTube, which is really, really hard with traditional 16 by nine format videos that we're used to on YouTube. So who could make YouTube Shorts? Everyone could make YouTube Shorts. You need exactly zero subscribers and you need exactly zero views. So on a brand new channel, you could make YouTube Shorts and upload them and show up in a different section of YouTube. And Shorts actually show up in the regular YouTube feed too. So it gives you a couple of different chances. So if you're making tutorials even, it's a good way to get those ahead of other people's longer format video. YouTube Stories are actually different. You need a certain amount of subscribers to create those and to even get access to those on your YouTube app and you have to create them from the YouTube app. YouTube Shorts, you could upload from the YouTube app to YouTube or you could use a computer if you're editing using a different software. It's a lot easier to record them with your phone, mainly because the phone already is in that vertical format. So if I just go ahead and press record on my phone to record my YouTube Short or record myself, it's already in the right format. Maybe I'll do some minor editing, some editing software on my phone and I'm ready to upload it as long as it's under 60 seconds in that vertical format. But some people are going to want to create professional videos for YouTube Shorts and I use this big old camera here and you could kind of hold these sideways using some rigging and this is a much more professional thing that I'm going to cover in this video but if you shoot videos vertically like this you can make YouTube Shorts out of them or you could shoot videos with these type of cameras in higher resolution like 4K or 6K and crop them in so you still get a vertical video out of a horizontal video. Again, too advanced for this video, but I just wanted to give you an idea just in case you want to do this for more than using your phone and for more professional reasons. So let me jump in the computer here because I want to show you how I'm going to take a horizontal video and change it to a YouTube short and then how I'm going to upload and tag it on YouTube so YouTube recognizes it as a YouTube short. Now, if you record using your phone, you don't have to worry about what I'm doing here. This is, I'm going to show you here how to use an editing software called Adobe Premiere Pro to make any video into the vertical shorts format. In your phone, you already have this format. So watch a video on how to edit videos on your phone and just edit what you've recorded on your phone for that. But here, typical videos, like this one's a video I just recorded, the intro of this video that you're watching. All I have to do is go to File and go to New, and I'm going to create a new sequence. And by default, sequences are designed to be 1920 by 1080. That's just the size of standard video. So a movie you see in HD is that's the size. But that's not what I want. So I'm going to go to Settings here, and I'm going to change something. I'm going to change this up here to Custom. And I'm going to type in my own frame size. Vertical videos are 1080 by 1920. This is the way YouTube knows this is a YouTube short plus the length of it being less than 60 seconds. So I'm going to do this. You could do this with any editing software and I have different tutorials on different ones. And I have a free trial to this one. Adobe Premiere Pro free trial in the description. You could just get it and follow along exactly this way. I'll press OK here. And here's that sequence I just created. So now I brought in my video clip. I just double clicked over here and brought in the video clip that I want. It's on my desktop. I just have it right here and I imported it. I press import. So now I'll drag a clip that I have imported here. I'll put it over here. Keep existing setting because I already selected it to be vertical and this is it. Now if I go to 
the part of the video that I want, I could go ahead and move myself. If I select that and come to effects control, I could move myself left and right here to be right in the center of the video. Let me go ahead and mute this for now. And this would be a perfect video right now to be a short, except it's too long. So if I go ahead and edit this down to be less than 60 seconds, I could go ahead and make this a short. So I could just quickly do that. I'll go over here, let's say this is a 57 second video. And now that's 59 seconds, I could delete the rest here and I could go ahead and export this for YouTube. Let me show you how that goes. I'll come up here to file and then I'll go down here to export and go to media. And here it's going to recognize all my settings. So it knows it's 1080 by 1920. I don't have to change anything here. So these are all going to be the same. H.264 is what I have here. If you don't have it, change it to that. And preset here, you could go ahead and change it to, for example, YouTube 1080. You could select that. Now this is gonna change what you did before. So now this is not what you want. YouTube is gonna not see that as a YouTube short. So I could come down here and match source to go back to that size that I want YouTube to recognize as a YouTube short. There you have it. This is all you have to do. And then you just have to press export here after you choose your output name and destination. So I'll select this here, choose where I want this to go and then press export. Now this step you have to do exactly as I'm showing you. You have to go to youtube.com, go to your channel on YouTube and then go ahead and press the upload icon. This is the same on your phone too. You just press upload video if you did it on your phone and you upload this just like you did with any other video. So I'll go ahead and select the file and I'm gonna let it upload here. I'll go ahead and give it a title and go ahead and follow everything else that you typically do with all your other videos. So go ahead and create a thumbnail for your videos, add it to playlist, put a nice descriptive description here. The only thing I want you to do is put the hashtag and put shorts here. Now YouTube is gonna recognize that this is a YouTube shorts by just the length of the video and the fact that it's in vertical format. And look at what else it does. It actually puts the video that is in the foreground, it puts it in the background. So just in case people are watching it in the YouTube feed in 16 by nine format, which is this horizontal typical format on YouTube, they'll see it this way, which looks kind of nice having two different videos on top of each other, creates a thumbnail. Again, you could have your thumbnail just be the typical 16 by nine format if you like, just like you make any other thumbnails. I have plenty of videos on making thumbnails. And then when you're all done, you just go ahead and press next go through the monetization if you have that, and then go ahead and publish it. It's really that simple. And here's what a YouTube Shorts looks like on a computer. On the phone, it's gonna look perfect because it's the right format, really designed for the phone, which is what YouTube is pushing right now. And you can see because I added the hashtag Shorts, it's gonna show up over here as a short. But I definitely encourage you to take advantage of YouTube Shorts. Think of it as a different creative way that you could exponentially grow on YouTube right now, especially since YouTube Short is something that YouTube is gonna push very, very hard in the beginning months and years. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.